are looking live at the Iroquois here in Hagersville. This is Six Nations Chiefs Lacrosse on Rogers TV. Mark Perry alongside Daryl Smart. Final home game of the regular season for the Six Nations Chiefs taking on the Peterborough Lakers. Their arch nemesis in town here tonight. The Chiefs with a perfect 10-0 record looking to wrap up their home stands uh, with with a perfect record going into the Man Cup playoffs. We already know they've wrapped up first place and going to get that first round by into the next round. But, Daryl, Peterborough's not going to be a pushover. They're looking for some something here as well because they still have an outside chance, if you will, of catching uh, Brooklyn for second place. Well, they have a lot to play for, Mark, as uh, simple as that. And uh, if anything, they're looking for momentum as... We head towards that playoffs or the, the regular season stretch into the playoffs. And again, Peterborough has been winding up all year. It's a six and four record this season. It's a very uncharacteristic of a typical Peterborough team over the last 10 years or so. But this Peterborough team is a stacked lineup as well. But that just goes to show how stacked MSL is, uh, Mark. You know, top to bottom in the standings, it's been great all season. You've got Brooklyn battling with Peterborough here for that second and third spot. And, yeah, and you can't overlook uh, Oakville. Uh, or uh, Coburg as well. So this is going to be a good one. And you know what? When these two teams go at it, you know what's going to happen. It, it's just a really good lacrosse game. Two of the best teams in the world going at it tonight. And I don't expect anything else. Again, touching on it, Six Nations, a perfect 10-0 to start the season. Peterborough, 6-4 and four winners of four of their last five games. The only blemish in those last five for Peterborough came against the Chiefs in Peterborough on June 27th. A 14-7 victory for the Chiefs. Eli McLaughlin with a hat trick in that one. Lyle Thompson, Cody Jamison both with five points in that one as well. Joe Resiteritz. Uh, with a five-point outing there as well as we're going to direct things now to the floor and we'll tell you a little bit more of the game story as we get things started here at the ILA. Glad to have you with us on a Tuesday night. So one key here for the Peterborough Lakers, Daryl, is that there is no Thomas Hogarth no on the bench or on the floor here tonight for them and we were just uh, we were just asking uh, the people of grass that are sitting beside us so is he not in the lineup he's not playing they just said he's not playing tonight so uh, that's all we know so far mark but yeah that was going to be if we we're going to set the game up a uh, big matchup you got austin stotts who's leading msl in scoring in every offensive category and thomas hogarth who has been the catalyst offensively for this peterborough lakers team only 25 seconds in, and there's a power play up coming here for the Chiefs. The hand goes up, and we're going to see a Chiefs power play coming up here. This is all a result of just moving the ball around and trying to make something happen. It looks like I think it's a hold here. I think. Let's see what the signal oh, is. Oh. Cross check. But again, that's all about uh, just moving the feet and making something happen and making these Peterborough defenders uh, move and uh, get into awkward positions. Between the pipes tonight, we've got uh, Doug Bucken in the goal for Peterborough, and he's been fantastic and, of course, world-class goaltender. And down to the other end, the king of the hill, Warren Hill, he gets the call tonight. Cody Jamison passes it over. There's a shot taken by Lyle Thompson. It goes off of the body. Delay of, of game bucket. So delay of game indeed the call. Austin Stotts, who has been on an absolute heater the last three games in particular, but all season long, he takes a shot. It goes just wide. Heater's an understatement, my friend. Holy and smokes. Last three games, 19 points. Really, you call it 20. He didn't get credit for a goal that he should have gotten really in that game last Tuesday against Oakville. Last two years, he's but, been on a tear. <laughs> I mean, still, he had eight points in that particular game, so. Not uh, not too selfish is Mr. Stotts. He's got plenty of points to go around. Ball's going to get knocked into the corner, and Edwards will pick it up here. Tim Edwards will pass it up to Lyle. Just leaving it here. 
Dane Smith. Got it back over. He's got it here again. Smith looking. Backhand pass. There's a shot. A skip. Trying to reach the net. Won't do so. McLaughlin in there. Trying to get that ball loose. Sun down in there as well. Pass up top for Smith. Back over. Inside. There's a shot. He scores. Lyle Thompson on the doorstep. Fakes the one move. And with 35 seconds left in the power play, the Chiefs take a 1-0 lead. Oh, Lyle Thompson just sitting in the office there along the corner. Receives the ball. And he's just a, and again, give a guy like Lyle Thompson some space. And he's going to make you pay. All alone. Buck and had no chance on that one is Lyle with a couple of fakes and a dipsy doodle and in he goes and we're at one nothing my friend. The distribution of the ball there starting with Smith at the top of the dotted line. Just that backhand pass. Moving over to the far side and Lyle Thompson making no mistakes. So the Chiefs get a power play goal in the early going here and the Lakers will look to respond. Down on the near side, Reseteritz passed it over. There's a bouncer of a shot. That's going to go into the screen and out of play. It was Colin Matthews, number 20. As he rushes over to the bench. Here's Austin Stotts. Trying to rush toward the net. Backhand pass over. That was pretty. That was very pretty. Had the one hand on the stick, scooped it over to Shane Jackson, another big time player on this team. Marquise passes it to the top of the dotted line for Hiltz. Over inside, there's a shot, Hill with the save. Hill has really been on his game all season. Six Nations have only surrendered 48 goals all season. There's a shot, and Hill with another save. Lakers with ball control here again. Marquise takes a look around, trying to get around one, passes it over, and trying to dip that one in there was Andrew Vandenberg, just unable to beat Hill on that occasion. Chiefs with the ball here. This is Edwards. Lyle Thompson as Edwards goes to the bench. Larson Sundown now on the near side, wearing number 68. In the teal. Moves that over. Smith looking inside for Thompson, just unable to find him cleanly. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Lyle Thompson trying to get through, sends oh. a shot on goal, and it was a skip of a shot that Buckin almost handcuffed him, but he kept it in front of him. That was a really nice stop by Buckin. Not the hardest shot in the world, but Lyle putting a little bit of spin on that one. Hellier. Up top, fresh off the bench. There's a shot stopped by Hill, and he'll scoop it up. Here's Martin. Justin Martin up the floor. You're looking at the Six Nations defense, and again, they're just pushing Peterborough wide early on here. That's the game plan, pushing them wide, not letting them get many inside shots. That pass went too far, but able to scoop that back up was Ross Hill. Four on the shot clock. Chiefs have to get that one off, and that was Austin Stotts who got it away. Saved by Bucket, and the Lakers will move up the floor. Of course, Ross Hill in the lineup again for the Chiefs, being brought up from the Riverman, a senior B, and Ross Hill doing a number in the statistics category in Ontario Series Lacrosse. Hellier to the top for Marquise. Marquise with a shot, he scores. We are tied at one. Colton Marquise putting one by Hill. Another one of those shots that not exactly the hardest, but it was accurate. No, I think you're 100% right on that. Marquis just with a pinpoint shot. Here's the replay here as he spins it off. There we go. He gets the feed from way up top. And it's that stick. Uh, the defender's stick in there. It gets right in the way. It kind of... Right there as you saw it there, Mark. It, 
little bit of a motion up, and Warren just doesn't get the, the read on the ball. And a nice shot by Marquise, and we're tied at one. Doesn't happen too often where the defender gets in the way and absolutely tricks the goaltender here in Six Nations, but it does the job there for Peterborough. So we are tied at one. Armstrong takes the shot. That one stopped. Hell, you're trying to get the ball loose. Skipped over to Armstrong, got it back. Katoni, number 99, on the floor. This is Thistleweight to the near side. Hellier looking, shooting, trying to go five hole, and Hill with the save. A seal by Warren on that one. And yeah, make no mistake about it, Hogarth out of the lineup, they still have plenty of firepower to go around. Well, I was going to say, uh, when uh, John Rezateritz had the ball, look for him to be the, the trigger man tonight. I mean, 37 goals in Philadelphia this past year in the NLL. That'll tell you something about what he's able to do. Well, Three on the shot clock. That one shot from a sharp angle. He's got 13 this season in seven games, so 13, 15 assists as well for 28 points. Marquise will move up the floor. Taking a look. Fake the shot, trying to get around. There's a shot taken, and Hill with another save. There's a shot, he scores! That was nice. Ross Hill. And that's that, just that quick up by the Chiefs. It's Hill just, had a lot of space to work with there. That's just great transitional play, Mark. We'll look at the rebound. Is, that's just great transition. And that's the advantage of having quick guys getting off, off the bench and onto the bench and all the way down. But this is a heads up pass all the way down. Getting it to Ross Hill makes no mistake, and he gets a goal MSL. He picks up where he lay. He's, uh, he's been going very hard in OSL for the Rivermen. So the lead has been restored here for the Chiefs. 13 and change to go in the first. What do the Lakers have in response here? Katoni. Taking a look, passing it in. There's a shot, that one goes wide. Rebound is scooped up here and thrown into the boards. Was Page there by Tyson Bell, who's got the ball. Tyson Bell is physical self, a typical physical self there along the back line. There's a shot through a screen and good save made by Bucket. The other way come the Lakers. Up top, Reza Terrence finds Marquise. Off the bench is Hellier. Taking a look, he got bodied there, had to pass it off. There's a shot, Hill with another save. This time taking away from Owen Hiltz. Files up the floor. Here's Lyle Thompson, he'll just leave it here. Oh wait, no, he holds on to it. Rolls it over. Passed over for Austin. Stotts takes a shot. That one goes wide. Stotts almost gets to it. Good job there by Lyle Thompson to get that ball right back. There is a shot. Tried to get that one rushed as the shot clock was winding down. Just the quickness. Goes out of play, and the Chiefs get a fresh shot clock to work with here. Under 12 to go in the first. Hill passing it in. Shot there. Bucket with another save. And the whistle's gonna go. Uh, and Austin Stoss is gonna get a penalty here. Roughing. He and, he and uh, Jake Wicks, uh, Jake Withers mixing it up in front of the net area. And I think there was an extra shot from Adi there as he's gonna go to the box. Of course, Peterborough, the most penalized team in MSL. Really? Yes, they are. Really? But they can do some damage when they get the man up. Hell, your backhand pass, trying to find Marquise. He's got it again. Hellier over. Out inside, trying to find his man on the doorstep. 
Passing it back over. There's a Chief down. Looks like that's Bell. It's slow Tyson to get Bell. up. Really hobbling there on his left leg. It still stays in there. Marquise. Passing it back. Pitch and catch. Inside. Back to Marquise at the top. Backhand pass. Rest of Terrence with a shot, and he scores. It goes underneath Warren Hill, and we are tied again. That's just nice ball movement by the Peterborough Lakers on that one. Simple as that. They're, and again, like you said, Tyson Bell was down for a couple of seconds there, got back up. But this was uh, all on full stir. This was on the man advantage, of course. Now keep this in mind. Peterborough was up 3-0 in the first two minutes and seven seconds against Coburg last Thursday. Of course, things go back and forth. Peterborough with four power play goals late in the second period in that one. That really opened things up. That was part of an eight-goal period by the Lakers. So a team that really knows how to take advantage of that power play when they get to it. You do not want to give them opportunities. They have it here again. Hellier holds on to it. Finds Page. Oh, it's shot wide. Loose ball scooped up here by the Lakers again. That one's going wide. Up the floor. Here comes Priolo. Fast attack here by the Chiefs. Over. It's a sundown on the near side. Looking for some space. To the other side it goes. Sundown again. Passing it over, seven on the shot clock, shot stopped. McLaughlin was on the near side, took that one, but Bucken comes up big again. It's just good defense by Peterborough on that one. 15 on the shot clock, Reseteritz inside, finding his man, but another save by Hill. It's those quick ins that we're seeing here, the last yep. couple of possessions there by the Lakers. Trying to open up some space, sending a man through the lane. Well, just what I was saying about the, uh, the first five minutes, Six Nations doing a really good job of keeping them wide. Is there's Dane with the opportunity, keeping Peterborough out and not getting those opportunities. But now they're getting inside, penetrating in, and getting those scoring opportunities, which are higher percentage chances, of course. How about the young one, Ross Hill? There, not afraid to get into the not middle of it. Hellier. Trying to back his way into some space. Page looking. Has one hand on the stick. Gets it back. Seven. Loses his footing. And the Chiefs will get the ball here. Up the floor comes Priolo. He's got a man with him. Two on two. Turns into an odd man rush, so they peel back a bit. Sundown looking for some space. He's got some room. Takes a shot. Tries to skip it, but Bucking with another save. Up the floor come the Lakers. Sturros passed it up. Ressa Terrence looking. Takes a look, takes a shot. That one goes wide. It's a nice stop. Lyle Thompson to Eli McLaughlin. Eli moves it around, trying to find a man in tight there with Smith. Just couldn't get the pass away. He's got it here again, trying to find his man. That's a skipper of a shot by Jackson. And Bucket takes it away. Eight minutes to go here on the first. Two all here at the ILA. Marquise holds on to it, leaves it back for Reseteritz. Hilts on the near side. There's a shot. That one goes off the iron. And here comes Cole back. Cole looking. Has to go all the way into the corner. He's got a trailer coming in after him. And that held up momentarily was Hill, but no call on the play there. He's got it here now. Hill for Nonko Thompson. Sundown. Five on the shot clock. There's a shot. That one's going to hit iron. We're gonna Actually, no, it went in. Bar down. It went bar down. Oh. Fooling everyone in the building. 
Sonny going bar down on that one. I can't wait Sun to see the replay on bar that. down. It's just nice individual effort. He's trying to get some space and he winds up. Ooh. Man. Oh, and Sonny knew he was, as soon as he scored. The near side official did not see that one go in. Wow. But the other official was in the far corner. He sure saw it. Oh, three, two, Chiefs. Heck of a shot by Sonny. Chiefs goal scored by Larson Sundown. If you can believe it, just his second goal of the campaign. Tyson Bell hacking away at it on Jordan Sturros, and it's going to be Chiefs ball here right in front of the penalty box. Very aggressive. Sundown with it again. McLaughlin passing it over. Dane Smith has to turn back around. Here's Lyle Thompson for McLaughlin. Back to Smith, loses it, still loose. Lyle picks it up, six on the shot clock. They gotta get it away here. There's a shot stop by Bucket. Good sequence there for the Chiefs, just unable to find the back of the net this time around. Marquise on the near side. A wholesale change here for the Lakers. Colin Matthews on the far side looking, finds his man in tight, and that one stopped by Hill. Aggressive play there, scooped up, moving up the floor. Nunko. He'll just move it up here for sundown. Austin Stotts wearing that right knee brace. In for Jackson. Dozen seconds on the shot clock takes it, and that one stopped. Back we go. McDonald for Resiteritz. Hill has it, 14 on the shot clock, looking, winding, shooting, stopped by Hill. That's a nice save by Warren Hill. And of course, as acrobatic as usual. Really stretches it out. You, you see the goaltenders during the pregame, they really work on stretching that lower body. They had to have a lot of movement there. Here's Austin Stotts, takes one up high, still has it, it's not loose. Scooped up here by Lyle Thompson, trying to find McLaughlin. He couldn't find it. And now some pushing and shoving. Austin Stotts, he gets an extra hack there. He and Withers again. Imagine those two in a seven-game series. The battles that will be. Marquise twisting around, passing it back. Reciterance. And more pushing and shoving. And we saw Hiltz trying to get loose. Now up a high. Shot by Hill. That one's going to go wide of the goal. And that's going to be an over and back. And the Chiefs are arguing it here. The officials are going to conference the here. Yeah, the officials are going to conference here. They're going to say it went off the crossbar. So the Chiefs will remain with the ball here. And up for Smith. Jackson again. Trying to find Hill. It goes toward the goal and it'll be picked up here by Bucken. Colton Armstrong leaves it here. Rob Hellier, wearing number six, has it. Passing it over. There's a shot. That one's blocked. The rebound's going to be scooped up here by the Chiefs. Rushing up the floor is Thompson for Jamison. Looking, shooting, scores! Jammer jams it in, four to two. Second goal in transition. And like you said, Jammer just jams that one by Bucken, but this is just great transitional play. Thompson feeding it to Jammer. 
Jammer hammering at home down low. That's a great shot. That's a shooter's shot right there. Everybody and their sister thought he was going up high, I think, and he went down low in the bottom corner. Or it's had a five-point effort the last time these two teams met. Not a lot of uh, room. Bucking didn't give him a lot of room, but man. Seventh goal of the campaign for the captain. Oh, captain, my captain, with 28 points overall. Chiefs now have the multi-goal lead. Some pushing and shoving right on the near side, right against the boards. Tyler Biles will pick it up here for Unco. Line change there by the Chiefs, and Dane Smith will have it here. He's got Austin Stotts. How about that as a combination? Austin <laughs> Stotts and Dane Smith. Are you kidding me? Austin Stotts, one hand on the stick, passing it back. That one's knocked out of the hands of the player. Oh, and there, there's a shot he scores. Eli McLaughlin. All alone. Just when you thought the play was broken up, just a quick in, Eli McLaughlin make it five to two Chiefs. But again, that comes back to relentless four check. You know what I mean? Relentless getting loose balls. And right there, Dane Smith gets the loose ball. As a result, gets it to Eli McLaughlin. And we've got ourselves a 5 2 lead for the Six Nations Chiefs with 2.55 to go here in the first period. 12th goal of the campaign for Mr. McLaughlin. But again, it's just that, that desire to want that loose ball. Picking up the ball here is Hutchison. Hutchison holding, shooting, stopped by Hill. So Longboat will get a helper. Of course, Smith will get the primary assist. Cole passing it over to Lyle Thompson. A dozen seconds on the shot clock. Looking, shooting, and he's going to be scoring. It was loose in the equipment of Bucken. I don't know if he got full control of it. It looked like it hit him on the way. It looked like he had it, that's for sure. And then all of a sudden, it couldn't squeeze the apple, and the apple fell through. And like this time of year, the apple just falls down in the trees and into the grass. <laughs> and this time, it's in the net. So the Chiefs on a bit of a roll here. You'll see that shot. Again, it just drops underneath the arm. It's a deception, uh, a deceptional shot of Lyle Thompson. You never know where he's coming from on that, and that's just a perfect example. And also, you got to remember, Lyle Thompson's going east-west on that play. So Bucken has to trail or track him. And uh, once you're tracking your, your opponent, that's when things open up. It is a difficult thing to do, that's for sure. As the Lakers looking to respond, Marquise missing it, and it's going to be Chiefs' ball here. It's a 6-2 lead right now, and that's the first time someone's got more than one goal for the Chiefs. Lyle Thompson's got a pair right now, and everybody else has singles here, and that just says to the depth and the, and the offense by committee here. You think about even the assists, though. Worth a long couple of players with two helpers on, yep. the, on the evening. Dane's got two, Travis has two. Cole's got Cole's a pair. got two. Ross Hill, a goal and an assist. Of course, the story a little bit from the game in Peterborough was the spread out scoring as we're yep. going to get a power play upcoming here for the Lakers. Seven different Chiefs scored a goal in that 14-7 win a couple weeks back. That's, the, that's been the M.O. for this team, you know what I mean? They, you don't want to rely on them. That's what the brain trust here with the Chiefs have wanted. They don't want to rely on just one player. And uh, right now, they're certainly not relying on one player. And that kind of goes into the talk of now that we're winding down the regular season and whatnot, talk of MVPs, top players, uh, top defenders and whatnot. And it's a, it, it's a tough call, you know what I mean? It's uh, the Six Nations Chiefs. Uh, offense is spread and you look at the scoring lead and they don't have a lot of guys at the top and it's just filtered all the way down and they've got guys littered all over the place I mean by default the guy who's leading the charge Austin Stotts would probably get my MVP vote at this stage I know I was trying to think I was trying to think about that on the way in today and uh, you know what Audi's had an MVP type season but you take him out of the lineup 
Uh, you stick someone else in, you know what I mean? But that's another story and another discussion. But again, who else? Oh, man. Oh, that one's in. Oh, man. Oh, Bucket is having himself uh, not exactly the greatest of games. That is a shorthanded marker. Lyle Thompson has a hat trick. That's a tough one. 7-2 for the Chiefs. That was almost like a waster. Yeah, just throwing it on net. The shot clock was winding down. Yep. And well, you got to put it on net because you want to get that reset going. Well, and again, this is a perfect example for young lacrosse players all over the world. Uh, shot clock's winding down. You don't have to have the perfect shot to score a goal. You know what I mean? And Lyle Thompson right there, a perfect example. Not the perfect shot, not the perfect opportunity. But he just he saw he, uh, very much aware of where the shot clock was, took a shot on that. Hey, this hey. one snuck in. That's two in a row he snuck in. Lacrosse, hockey, soccer. By the way, shout out to Canada playing in the Copa Americas tonight against Argentina. That'd be an awesome game the, to watch. <laughs> the old saying always reigns true. Put it on net and something good can happen. That's what the uh, Canadian soccer team is wanting to do tonight. Just put it on net, see what happens. That one shot off the iron and it would go wide. By the way, Canada looked phenomenal in, in that game against Argentina to open up the tournament a couple weeks back. But, you know, had a couple of chances. They just couldn't finish as the period here will finish up. Seven goals on the board here for the Six Nations Chiefs. Wild Thompson has a hat trick. It is spread out scoring otherwise. And for the Chiefs, who are 10-0 on the regular season, a couple of these ones have been softies against their arch rivals in Peterborough. We'll take a break. When we come back, we will take a look at that first period, some of the scoring, and maybe go through the standings as well as we reach the tail end of the Major Series lacrosse season. We'll be back after this. Don't go anywhere. This is Major Series Lacrosse on Rogers TV. Welcome back to Major Series Lacrosse on Rogers TV. I'm Marquis Daryl. We're into the first intermission here at the ILA. It is seven to two Chiefs. And wow. again, Lyle Thompson, he's got the hat trick. It's spread out scoring otherwise. But I feel like the story of the game has been, you know, shoot things Just shoot. and you know, good things can happen. There have been a couple of softies that have gone in on Doug Bucket here tonight. Well, it's that old adage, Mark. Just shoot. You never know what's going to happen. We talked about it at the end of the period. Just sh shoot. 
pretty simple stuff. Nothing really to analyze on that. Get it on. But one thing the Six Nations Chiefs have done a really nice job of, moving that ball around, getting the opportunities, creating chances. And then, of course, you're going to get those shots on net when you're creating those chances. They're moving the ball so well right now. It's, it's great to see. They really are. It, 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 it's simple ball movement. They oh. haven't had to pull out the tricks, really. Saw maybe one or two behind the head kind of passes that you have seen as kind of a calling card with this team yeah. throughout the regular season. No, it's just been simple passes, simple plays, creating maybe some pick plays, if you will. Um, but that's been about it. It's been very simple and very just focused lacrosse by the Six Nations Chiefs. And you look at the Peterborough Lakers again, they're getting their chances as well. But, you know, while the Chiefs are putting seven goals on the board, Warren Hill has made a couple of good saves here as well to, you know, to keep his team, you know, with such a sizable lead here. Warren's been just Warren. Honestly, he's been solid all season long. And again, when the top goaltender comes and is named at the end of the year, more than likely, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm not a betting person, but I'm gonna bet that it's Warren Hill because he's been nothing short of spectacular all season long. He's been dialed in. He's in great shape. You know what I mean? And he's just one of those guys, and he just. He, he really thrives in this environment, and he's thriving right now. And of course, when you've got one of your best friends and, and uh, one of the best goalies in the world uh, as your partner, you just put it, it pushes yourself. You know what I mean? And, and Warren's been pushed, and he's been up to the task, and he's been fantastic tonight. And what I've really liked about Warren Hill, you know, I think about last year and even maybe the season before. You saw Doug Jamison was the one that was getting the lion's share of starts. Hill was kind of backing him up. This season, Hill gets the. Line Lion's share, especially in the early going of the season, really took the ball and kind of rolled with it with uh, Dougie Jamison kind of on the sideline here. Yep. Doug's gotten into a couple of games at the same time too, but you know, this is the season where Warren Hill has shown yet again why he is who he is oh, and the, the skill that he world. has. He one, of, one of the best in the world, you know what I mean? And uh, you, just the conversation around uh, the community, you talk about goaltenders, uh, just top end goaltenders in the world right now. Just, uh, and I'm talking the world of bo box lacrosse, and you've got two guys here that are up in that upper echelon, you know what I mean? Uh, they, Warren and Dougie are two of the top guys in the world. Of course, you got Del Bianco and Dylan Ward, you know what I mean? But you know what? Dougie and Warren, they're in that conversation as well. Yep, and let's take a look at the standings here with the uh, major series of the cross season winding down. And again, you look at the Chiefs at the top of the table, 20 points, nobody can catch them. And how, of course, it works here with the seven-team league is we're going NFL rules where you have the first place team getting a bye into the yep. second round. Two versus seven, three versus six, four versus five, all in best of five series. Semifinals will end up being a best of seven. Finals, of course, a best of seven. And of course, the Man Cup, best of seven as well. And you look at the Lakers, 12 points, four points back of Brooklyn right now. There is an outside chance where Peterborough can tie Brooklyn in points at the end of the year. But for the Lakers, really, they lose this game here tonight. That's it. They're going to find themselves in third place. Yep. Maybe a little bit lower if you have an Oakville Rock team go on a run in the final few games. Even Cobert for, uh, Even for that Cobert. matter. You know what I mean? After, the, after they made a couple of moves a few weeks back, Cobert has surged. Mm -hmm. and, and, and again, there is no off night in MSL. And Coburg, uh, Oakville, Owen Sound, and Brampton are all showing that as well. You know what I mean? It's been a great season so far on a shortened schedule, like you said. But man, uh, I can't wait for the playoffs to start because these matchups right now, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Coburg, Peterborough, Oakville, those can go the distance. Yep. Honestly. Yeah, it's a lot of parity, a lot still to be decided through the last week or so of this MSL regular season. Still lots to be decided here tonight, folks. We'll be back after this. Don't go anywhere. This is Major Series Lacrosse on Rogers TV.
Welcome back to Major Series Lacrosse on Rogers TV. Also a special shout out to our affiliates that are putting on this game, both in the Peterborough area, as well as Cable 14 out in Hamilton that have been helping us out all season long. It is seven to two Chiefs over the Peterborough Lakers as we head into the second period. Daryl, Lyle Thompson, a hat trick. But as I mentioned before, a lot of spread out scoring where you have a goal from Ross Hill, a goal from Eli McLaughlin, Larson Sundown with a with a goal as well. Cody Jamison on the board. For the Peterborough Lakers, meantime, Joe Reseteritz with a goal and a helper. And Same Marquise. thing with Colton Marquise. Yep. And look to those two guys to kind of carry the load offensively for this Peterborough Lakers team. Getting ready for the face-off here. Edwards taking on Withers. And it will be Withers that comes up with it. Withers, one of the best face-off men in the world. For a long, long time. You can say that again, partner. And it is a power play here for the Lakers to start things off here. Katoni got it over. That one's intercepted. Here come the Chiefs back the other way. Loose ball picked up here by Rubish. Got it ahead. Priolo upstairs. There's a shot stopped by Bucken. He takes one away from the Chiefs forward there. Hilt. Austin Stotts rolling Austin around Stotts. after that one. The couple of words for the officials after being dumped after the shot. Petoni passing it up. Marquise. Eight on the shot clock, loose ball. It's going to be knocked back over. Marquise with it again. Fakes it, trying to find his man. And Marquise with a bit of a stutter step there. Back on Jake Withers for just a second. Halifax Thunderbirds faceoff man. 74% oh, on insane. the draw this past year. He's Unbelievable. Insane. Turning back around, Austin Stotts trying to muscle his way toward the goal. There's a shot, he scores! Austin Stotts when it looked like he had no space at all. He had absolutely nothing. Unbelievable. Eight to two Chiefs. One, maybe two guys draped all over him. Takes a whack to boot. Frees himself out, it's just that quick step out. You'll see it here. There's the whack. That's a great, that's a beautiful pick. That's all pick right there, that's a beautiful play. Not that was not nice. much room to work with. I think that was uh, Dane Smith with the pick, just rolled right through the Peterborough defender and gave Audie just that split second of time to trigger it off. So it's a six-goal lead here for the Chiefs. Here's Matt Gilray on the far side, trying to control it. There is Matthews wearing number 20, twisting around. Some shouting coming from the bench. It's one on three, but the Lakers got possession. Hellier. Got it over, passing it. There's a pass over. There's a shot taken. Goes just wide. Bouncing ball. Oh, that was right in front of the goal, and Warren Hill had to be careful there. I was just going to say, that was really good. That was a disciplined defense by Six Nations on there. They, they could have easily have chased into the corner, didn't, and just opted to cut cut all the corners off so they didn't have, so people didn't have an opportunity. It's got it again. There's a shot stopped by Bucket. Up the floor it goes. Unable to control it there was Trevor McDonald. He'll pick it up here now. McDonald one on three. Everybody else on his team going to the bench. He'll get a fresh line on. That pass is blocked by Smith, and he's got it here. Rubish with a great loose ball there. Smith with it again. Has a bit of space. He'll pass it over. Shot by Jackson. He scores. Woo. Almost the exact same spot Adi had his, scored his goal. That one had a bit of flair to it. 9-2 Chiefs, and they are running away with it here at Shane, the ILA. Shane Jackson with a little cayenne pepper to that shot. Muy caliente, oh. a one-hopper over the shoulder. 
A little spicy bounce on there, and it went top shelf off the bounce. And Landon That's Kells is going to come into the game here for Doug Bucket. Bucket uh, just tough not his evening. night. Tough, tough evening for him. But again, you know, it, it's not all on him. You got to remember, that you get guys like Shane Jackson, Austin Stotts, Dane Smith, Cody Jameson. The list goes on and on, shooting at you. There's going to be holes, and they're going to find them. You know what I mean? And it's not all on Doug on that one. It's Landon Kells, who's uh, had a great season so far for the Lakers as well, coming in here. So 9-2 Chiefs. And the Las Vegas Desert Dog in the goal here for the Lakers. Hill passing it over. Austin Stotts back in for Hill. Lyle Thompson looking, shooting, stopped. Actually hit the iron there, I believe. And the Lakers will get the ball back. Welcome to the game, Landon Kells. Welcome to the Holy game smokes. indeed. Right into the fire, jumped right into the fire pit. Hutchison leaves it. Katoni shot stopped by Hill. Bouncing ball scooped up here by Nunko Thompson. I have campfire memories of last week when I was on vacation still. <laughs> Austin Stotts for the old Buffalo Roam. Over, shot, that one Great goes off top. the body. Great stop by Kells, getting himself dialed in. You want to take those shots early, that's for sure. Get warmed up. Inside shot. That one stopped it's again. Off the pipe. It's Smith. like a shooting gallery, my friend. Smith. The Chiefs offense heating up again. Trying to separate himself there. Passed inside. Twist around. Smith, 10 on the shot clock. Looking over, shot, that one goes wide. It goes all the way back. It's just an absolute shooting gallery. When you have that much firepower coming in on you, you don't know where that ball's coming from. Well, it's not just about the firepower itself, Mark. It's about the getting that loose ball, you know what I mean? Ball's carrying on. How it, he hit the pipe like three times on that one. And he, you got to get the rebound. You know what I mean? And the Chiefs are there. They're Johnny on the spot to get that ball. Here's Tim Edwards up the floor with some speed. Edwards looking, getting it over for Thompson. Thompson finds a lane, takes a shot. He scores. Number four has number four on the night. Such a modest four goal game by Lyle Thompson. You know what I mean, Mark? Absolutely nothing fancy here. I, I think every goal has been from the outside. He's just created some space for himself. And of course, it's that. that quick, well, look at that release move. point. Oh, just from the side. You don't yeah. always, you, 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 you can get it from all different angles there. A couple of those have just been kind of that side winder shot. Didn't have to worry about skipping the ball there. It was, it was kind of ironic that the, the uh, Georgia Swarm on their social media today had a, a post with Lyle Thompson doing a tip tip of the day, and the tip was really, basically it was about passing. I know this wasn't a pass, but it's kind of the same kind of thing where you have the, he was explaining that release point, and a, the release point could go from anywhere, and Lyle putting that on full display today. Some more good ball movement there by the Chiefs, but Kells with the save. Hutchison with the ball here. Hutchison, number 55 in white with the blue trim here for the Lakers. Holding Katoni, looking, shooting, and save. oh, Warren Hill had to be careful there. It took that one up high, and he's going to have to shake that one off. And he's talking to the official, just making sure that the straps are still on. And holding Katoni in there, 25 goals with the Philadelphia Wings this past season. Twisting back around is Matthews. Reseteritz, or rather that was Marquise. Now it's Hellier in around, twisting around, and that one stopped by Hill. So he takes it away from Matthews. Rebound is going to be scooped up. Such physical defense. Priolo 
passing it over. There's a shot stopped, rebound, loose ball, and the Lakers will get it here. Thistlewaite. Bradenburg, number 26, right on the near side. Very patient with the ball, got it over for Hiltz. For 99, Katoni getting it over for Vradenburg. There's a shot, that one's gonna go up high. It goes wide of the goal just as the shot clock expired. And, and the Chiefs will the get it back. Smith inside and almost getting it knocked away from him there with Shane Jackson. That's the dangerous part about having Dane back on defense like he was, you know what I mean? He just gets that ball and he's got green light all the time, you know what I mean? Oh, Thompson man. skips that one wide and it'll go, doesn't go out of play. It goes all the way back and it's going to have to be left there. McDonald looked like he was going to rush to the net there, but Heels off to the side. 12.40 to go here in the second period. 10-2 Chiefs. Chiefs on a heck of a run here. There's a shot. That one goes wide. It was at one point a 2-2 two -to -two game. But the Chiefs with eight straight goals here five in the first, three more here in the second. Well, and that's what Peterborough was able to do in that first period for a while. They, they were able to find an answer, you know what I mean? And the, the Chiefs have done a great job this season of not allowing teams to have that answer. And Peterborough, for the little bit there, the first 10 minutes or so, had the answer. But uh, I guess when there's an answer, there's also a solution. And it looks like the uh, Chiefs have a solution for that answer. It was a back and forth first oh, nine minutes of the game. That was colloquial. That one goes into the screen and out of play. Lyle Thompson had opened the scoring just a minute or so into the, into the first period. And just some back and forth goals in, the three, in a three minute span tied the game. But here we are now, 10 to two. It's a whole different game now. The Chiefs on top and that one shot wide. A rifle are there from Eli McLaughlin, and it's going to be Lakers' ball here. Again, Peterborough 6-4 and four on the season, winners of four of their last five games, winners of two straight. Of course, had that 15-7 victory over Coburg on Thursday. Back on the doorstep, shot and Hill. Good response. I think he, I like the second save better than the first. Oh, absolutely. Long boat. Leaves it here. This is Ross Hill for Dane Smith. Back over, shot. That one goes under and off of the pad of Kells, and it goes into the corner. Hill now battling for it, and Armstrong will come out with it for the Lakers. To McDonald. McDonald looking. It's just going to leave it here. Skips that one back to Hellier. Hellier, four assists in the game against the Chiefs a couple weeks ago. Distributes the ball quite well. Smith on the near side, passing it over. Oh, Shot what a save. Kells comes up big. Austin Stotts now. Back for Lyle Thompson. Delayed penalty here. Yeah, the Lakers, are, the Lakers are gonna go on the PK here in a couple moments. That one shot, it goes off of the body. That one went right into the chest of Dylan Hutchison. And there's gonna be a power play upcoming here for the Chiefs. Yeah, you were talking about it, Mark, uh, during the intermission. Uh, these two teams jockeying for position and whatnot. You gotta remember, the Six Nations Chiefs want to make a statement. You know what I mean? They, they, they've had knock on, a, you don't want to jinx anything, but they, they've been chasing the perfect season. You know what I mean? And they've been doing it with authority. And the, what better way to do it with authority than put an exclamation mark uh, on a victory against the Peterborough Lakers here tonight? Think about the season that they, they have had already among oh. those 10 wins. We've, uh, it was funny, I was talking to uh, 
Peterborough Examiner sports reporter Mike Davies, a uh, really good friend of mine. Shout out to him. He's watching the game back home. Uh, we were just going back and forth today uh, via text. It was great to hear from him. We were just talking about depth. He was, we were talking about have we seen a team like the Six Nations Chiefs team uh, before? And he, he was referring to the 2004 to 2010 uh, Peterborough Lakers when they were next to unstoppable. And it, maybe even in 94, uh, the Six Nations just... Ooh, a good dive shot there taken. And the Lakers have broken up the 8-0 run by the Chiefs. And that's Carter Page who that's, puts it on the board. That's a great run coming out of the corner and into the net. That's just a nice goal. And something that the Peterborough Lakers and their fans want right here to stop the bleeding. That's just a great shot. And again... Page is going east-west here. He's going to open up the gap. And that's just a great shot and a nice goal by Page. But just to finish off that point, uh, it, it's, it, this uh, this Chiefs team, they, they, they want to chase history, you know what I mean? And they, that's been the mission all season long, right from the offseason, even before the offseason. It was all about this season and wanting to get to this point. And, uh, yeah, it was a really nice uh, banter going back and forth with Mike. It was great talking to him. And I hope he's doing great. That one stopped by Kells. And Chiefs will get the ball back here. Still with the power play. That goal by Page is third of the year. It came shorthanded. Love talking to uh, talking lacrosse with Mike. That one's going to be stopped by Kells. It goes underneath him. Definitely a lot of great media here in Major Series Lacrosse. No matter oh, where you are whether it's here in six nations whether it's in the lift lock city in peterborough up to owen sound of course owen sound sun times have a great sports reporter well, in their Craig, own right he's a great, great guy it was great to meet him in person when owen sound came it was nice to see some of the faces that you interact with online for years it was just great to see in person there's a shot taken, goes off the side of the goal. And, you know, I see a lot of them, obviously, traveling with the Sudbury Wolves organization in the Ontario Hockey League. I see some come into the Sleeman Centre in Guelph, what I'm calling Guelph Storm Games during the winter time. There's a shot. That one stopped by Kells. Everybody doing a great job in the media. Just all about exposing the game and allowing the fans to get a, oh. get a front... Row seat, if you will. Shot by Stotts. He scores. Audi from outside. Just the, they're just the, they're just picking cherries right now. That's just a snipe. Second goal of the game for Air Audi. Thirty-third of the season. No need to take off there. He just picked it up and sniped. Stayed on the runway for that one. 11-3, Chiefs. It's new, these new Chiefs hats have been rolling around. I saw them advertise the ILA Sports uh, on their social media. Someone hook me up, man. Those are nice. We love free swag. Shot by Stott, stopped by Kells. And they're keeping their foot on the gas pedal. Well, I think that's the thing. You don't want to get into those bad habits. And that's one thing that John Tavares and Dewey Jacobs, Rich uh, Kilgore have uh, really harped on. You know what? You don't want bad habits. Just keep Smith, playing. oh my goodness. Sorry to cut you off, oh, partner. Right. That was a good shot. Oh. And right in was Lyle Thompson there and didn't have the room. Austin Stotts, five on the shot clock, takes that one. It goes off of the body of Kells. Hacked it. That one did Stotts, but the Lakers will get the ball here. <laughs> Trying to cut into this lead. Katoni, that one sent into the rafters and into the flags on the side of the goal. Trying to stretch that play out for Jackson. Just couldn't get control of it going toward the goal. Hacking away at it. Jackson's in there. Priolo's in there. But it's going to be the Lakers that come out with it. Colton Armstrong. Hutchison. Looks back. Finds his man, Rob Hellier. 
Couldn't get that ball there. Bounces back. Nine on the shot clock. Passed over to the far side for Hellier. Taking a look, and the whistle's going to go. It's going to be Chiefs ball. Cole holds on to it for Hill. Hill looking. Inside, Longboat. Finds a bit of space, gets it over. 5.40 to go here in the second period. That one's sent through, but it goes just wide. McLaughlin with that attempt. And that's just going to get thrown into the corner. Is that shot by McLaughlin? It went wide, so it didn't restart the shot clock. So Chiefs didn't really have too much of a chance there to get reset and put one on goal. Loose ball in front. Almost scooped up. It oh. did get scooped up. And oh, what a chance the there by there. Trevor McDonald. Around the world action on that one. Hellier. Does not on the shot clock. He's got it back here. Shot through. That one goes wide. Rebound comes out to Catoni. Five on the shot clock. It didn't hit the net. Out inside looking for Carter Page. He couldn't get the stick on it. Priolo. Looks for a bit of open space. He'll go to the bench. Dane Smith. Got it over. Shot Kells. A hot shot taken. And he makes the save. Sturros on the on man rush. Gets it over. There's a shot. He scores. What a goal on the rush. That is Colton Marquise. That's great transition, Mark. Plain and simple, just great transition. We've seen it a bunch of times by Six Nations. And this time, Peterborough Lakers with a great transition goal here. And they're using their feet. This is what they have to do to get back into this game. They have to get into transition, catch the Chiefs on off guard, and Marquise diving in. Look at this. This is just textbook transition. Get the eye, uh, you, you get numbers, a nice long pass. You get numbers, you convert, and you score. Second goal of the game is third point of the night. Marquise makes it 11 to 4. Yes, a little bit more of a hill to climb, but the Lakers are going at it. A couple of chances there, but unable to capitalize on the doorstep there again was Marquise. Inside, Hiltz. Got it over for Rissa Terrence. Good ball movement here by the top unit for the Lakers. Scooped inside there by Hellier, but it goes wide. Two on the shot clock. They're going to get the shot away, and Hill with the save. Marquise now with nine goals on the year. Katoni, Rissa Terrence, and Hogarth, the only three in double digits for goals this year for the Peterborough Lakers. Contrast that with the five on the board here for the Six Nations Chiefs. That one's shot, stopped by Kells. Vredenberg. Content to play pitch and catch there with Katoni. Katoni with it here now. 10 on the shot clock. You hear some shouting there from the bench. Katoni looking for some space, finds his man. Good defense there on Ressa Terrence. That one shot through. It goes wide. Shot clock restarts, but the Chiefs are going to get the ball back. Priolo passing it over. Stotts shot. Kells with the save. Rebound. He'll scoop it up. It's a really good save by Kells. Again, Peterborough pushing the floor. They know this is what they need to do. They need to. They, I think they need to get away from trying to set up shop. They got to. They got to push the issue here if they want to get back into this game. Need some quick transition goals, yep. that's for sure. That shot stopped by Hill. Into the corner it goes, and Tyson Bell will get it. You, get, you, you allow this Six Nations Stretch defense. Stretch pass get, here, almost finding Jackson. You allow this Six Nations defense to just get hunkered into in their end. They're going to be tough to beat. you got to catch them off guard here. And they need a few quickies. They are down by seven. Twisting inside, trying to find some space was Hellier. Has it again to the top of the dotted line. Finds his man. There's a shot. Hill with another save. Brian Cole, number 55. 
slows the pace down. Something the Chiefs need to continue to do here. Slow the game down and keep their lead intact. Thompson. Coming for sundown. Five on the shot clock. Passed it over inside. Trying to get control of it there just at the tail end of the play was Jackson, just unable to get the shot away. Thistlewing. Matthews. Got it over. Resiteritz in the corner. Hellier. Back to Resiteritz. Got some space. Takes a shot. Hill with another save. And Hill's been key in the last number of moments. A quick number of chances by the Peterborough Lakers. We have a minute to go here in the second. Hill has been really stemming the tide here and really just taking control of the game, keeping exactly. the momentum away. That oh, one that's shot another, nice another save. example. And you're 100% right on that, Mark. Uh, it's it's one thing to just say, hey, the, it's an 11-4 game. And the, the, but to be honest, the Peterborough Lakers have been taking it, just like you said, but you need that calming force back there, and Warren Hill is that calming force on the back end. There's been a number of chances oh. for the Lakers. Just Hill's been there every time. Bounce back. It goes off of the back of Kells. It stays out there. They're not easy, they're not easy ones either. That's the thing, right? So it looks like a timeout's going to be called here on the floor. 24 seconds left in the second. Of course, a good settle time something to out. use your time out here, make something happen, get a little bit of momentum. Uh, with Peterborough with the ball, trying to get that momentum as they head into the third period here. But again, you touched on it earlier on in the broadcast. I just want to thank our good friends, uh, Ryan, Adam, and the crew here at Rogers TV 20, bringing you the action. They've been fantastic. Uh, thank you to you guys, uh, the crew. They've been nothing short of phenomenal. And like you said, our friends at uh, Cable 14 in Hamilton, Brendan, the group there, they've been nothing short of fantastic as well. And it's been great to have this collaboration between the two channels, giving lacrosse fans and non-lacrosse fans the opportunity to see the best players in the world right now. It's been fantastic. And of course, you can't uh, uh, not say anything, uh, we can't say anything without mentioning our good friends at your TV who have been amazing as well so having your tv cable 14 and rogers tv on board for msl action all season long it's been fantastic and of course these games produced by rogers tv or cable 14 are available after on the replay as soon as i get access to them and get time to put them up to the msl youtube page there's a shot scores by rissa terrence man, 11 to 5. and he's a shooter it's just so calm in there one of the best shooters in the world, man. Just here's the replay. Just gets the ball. Has all sorts of room. That's like three fakes. Just a quick up. Oh, man. Gets three fakes. Beats Warren on that one. That's just a, a great, great scoring uh, opportunity and cash in by Joe Reziteritz. So it's a six goal cushion here for the Chiefs now going into the third it looks like unless they can get one here with two seconds to go they're going to get the shot away but it goes wide and that's why you drop and that's why you drop the play uh, waste your it's not a waste of a timeout at the end that was just a great drop and paid off for the Peterborough Lakers here as we head to the third yes indeed it is a 11 to 5 game Lyle Thompson with four goals. Cody Jamison with a three-point night. A number of Six Nations Chiefs with three-point games. Rob Hellier with a three-point game. Colton Marquis with four points for the Peterborough Lakers. It is an 11-5 game. We're heading to break. When we come back, we'll wrap up that second period, get through the summary, and get set up for the third period. Stay with us. This is Major Series Lacrosse on Rogers TV.
to Major Series Lacrosse on Rogers TV. The, late, the Lakers trailing 11 to five here to the hometown Six Nations Chiefs. Mark Perry, Daryl Smart here with you. And Daryl, you look at what we saw through the first 40 minutes. Started off two to two. Uh, Chiefs, an 8-0 run. But since then, it's been the Lakers. Three of their last four goals have been from the visitors. So it seems like there's a bit of pushback here in the late stages. Can the Chiefs hold on? Again, it's, you know, it's six goals, but in lacrosse, six goals could be just as good as a two-goal lead in hockey. Oh, 100%, Mark. Uh, anything can happen here in MSL. And, and you're 100% right. It was a dominating uh, period and a half by uh, the Six Nations Chiefs. But then all of a sudden, like you said, the pushback came from the Peterborough Lakers. You knew there was going to be a pushback from these guys. There's a lot of pride on this line. Or, uh, there's a lot of pride on the line with these guys. And uh, you know what? They're all pros. And uh, these guys are all world players. So you're going to expect a pushback here. And uh, they're doing it the right way. You know what I mean? We were talking about during the broadcast about how they, they've been setting up shop and not pushing the issue. Well, now you've got them pushing the issue, and now they're getting scoring opportunities, and that's exactly what they have to do. And if you're a Peterborough Lakers fan, you're kind of hoping for them to keep on running and pushing and playing with no fear. You know what I mean? I think that's the big thing, the mystique of this the Six Nations Chiefs team with the perfect season on the line. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you, you want to push them. You know what I mean? Yep. And, not, and just play with no fear. Doug Buckin gets pulled in this one. Landon Kells comes in. A, how do you feel Kells has responded to coming in cold? And B, what do you think that did for the momentum in this game? Well, it's one of those things, a coaching, a coaching decision. I'm surprised the Peterborough Lakers didn't do it earlier, to be quite honest with you. Again, not faulting Doug Buckin on any of these, but uh, just to get that momentum change, you know what I mean? you got to sometimes goalies standing on his head and they... The score is not in your favor. Of course, you're going to change the goaltender, kind of mix things up, stir the pot a little bit. And that's what they did here with uh, Kells. And Kells has had the answer. You know what I mean? He, he's given up a couple, but you know what? He's got world class shooters uh, right at him. And he's been filling the hole right now and giving the uh, Peterborough Lakers a fighting chance as we had here in the third period. Joe Resetera and Colton Marquis. Apologize to those in Peterborough. It's Marquis, not Marquise. If only I had a pronunciation sheet. But alas, we are here. We here work we on that are. next year. We'll work on that for 2025. <laughs> but again, it's spread out offense the other way for the Six Nations Chiefs. You know, we touched on Lyle Thompson, his four goals. But everywhere else, you have three point nights everywhere. You have a couple point games everywhere. Now, it's, everybody's doing their part. Yeah. Well, and again, that's been the ammo of this Six Nations Chiefs uh, offense. Uh, quite honestly, the entire team. Doesn't matter who you put in at any position, you're going to fill your role and play your role. You know what I mean? And again, we talked about Cody Jamison playing a certain role, and then some nights he's the shooter. You know what I mean? Tonight, it looks like uh, it's Lyle Thompson. who's uh, He's got the hot stick tonight. So, of course, you're going to give him the ball. Uh, Austin Stutz, nine times out of ten, has been the hot shooter. And, and again, he's been pretty hot again this evening. But when you have Lyle just put the ball in like Lyle Thompson does, you're going to want to put the ball on his stick as well. As I touched on, Peterborough scored three of the last four. But it almost feels like at the same time, too, again, Warren Hill has come up big. Do the Chiefs really have to change anything up from what they have been doing in the last couple of moments to really hold on to this? Not really. Just stay composed. Honestly, you just stay composed defensively. Stick to your game plan. I think uh, when teams go on a run, there's that habit for uh, for players. you got to switch something up just because uh, the, the momentum switching. But you really don't have to make that momentum switch. You just have to kind of stay there. Like I said, stay the course. And Warren's doing a great job of kind of being the backbone back there and, and being the calming force while well, the defense has to just recoup and just stick to the program. It's a 10-0 uh, start here for the Six Nations Chiefs. I haven't really seen oh, such dominance and such a depth team oh. for, for, uh, for MSL really at any level. I was watching, I believe it was actually the game in Peterborough, and I think it was Dane Smith that you know had, yes. with, had the response of 
this Six Nations Chiefs team, the way they're composed, they could realistically go into an NLL and oh, win a gotcha. championship there. It's an all-star team, really. Any day, any day. I'd put this team up against any team in the world right now. And not just because of the talent, but the way they're playing. Uh, if you look into the dressing room, there's so much jam. You know what I mean? Dewey has done a great job of putting this team together uh, from the outside. And you know what? Yes, they're looking for talent and some of the best players in the world but they're also looking for really good human beings. And every guy in that locker room, great human being. You know what I mean? There, there's a lot of camaraderie, and I think that's the big thing. And th that's what you want with the championship team. You want the camaraderie, you want the jam, you want that chemistry. And the Six Nations Chiefs have that. You should see them in the dressing room. They're all having a ball right now. Absolutely. Well, they're having a ball right now, 11-5. We'll go to break when we come back. Third period action after this. Welcome back to Six Nations Lacrosse and Rogers TV. A quick chance there. I'm going to apologize. Lachlan. That was me talking too much. That's why we ran too long. See, when you look, you have the clock right in front of you, partner. Oh, man. I don't look at the clock. I black out and just talk. I'm sorry, man. Cole's got the ball here. Back over. Someone should have said chicken wrap, and I would have wrapped it up. I don't want to interrupt you. Your points were all valid. <laughs> Safe for chicken wrap. Yeah, I'm gonna do that from now on. <laughs> or I'll do the Ron McLean thing and say you got 30 seconds. <laughs> oh man. McDonald with the ball. 11-5 Chiefs, looking to wrap up a perfect home record at the very least. But I know the. Lakers are going to have something to say about it as they end up putting one underneath Warren Hill. Make it 11-6. to six. That was just a nice shot. You know what? And again, we talked about it during the intermission. Just about momentum and pressing the issue here. And that's what they're doing. They're just going, they're going forward. That's a nice shot. That's, Warren couldn't squeeze the apple on that one. And that one dropped into the orchard and into the net. Not quite apple season. Not quite apple peach season. season. Peach season. Peach season. Couldn't squeeze yeah. the peach. Go down on. Go down toward the highway. Get yourself some strawberries too. Oh man, yeah. There's a lot in this area. That's for sure. So Colin Matthews gets credit for the goal. And for Matthews. I 
I don't have his number listed on here, but he gets on the board nonetheless. Back to his first goal of the season. Hellier with a shot. Hill with a save. Didn't know where it was, though. So a lot of pride on this Peterborough Lakers team. You know, they, you're not, they're not going to lay down. That's for sure. It's a long bus ride. They, uh, they want to have a bus ride to take some positives from this. There's a shot. That one rifled wide. Jackson scoops it back up, gets it over. Shot stopped again. Landon Kells really dialed in here for the Lakers since coming on for Doug Bucket. He said, I thought, I thought they could have changed him a little earlier. Jackson, shot. That one goes wide. After that second uh, Lyle Thompson goal, I thought for sure he was going to get the yank in, in favor of Kells. Presta Terrence. Look, shoot. That one goes wide of the goal. Picking it up here, McDonald's, the latest goal scorer. Hutchison with a shot. That one rises, but it misses. And Tim Edwards will move up the floor. Austin Stotts finds some space, looking for some room to get around a couple of men there, but can't do it. Shot. That one skips wide. Dane Smith on that opportunity. Another great save by Kells. Smith again. On the far side, twisting and turning, finds Lyle Thompson. How about this combination? Larson Sundown in for Stotts, can't control it. Twisting back around and loose ball, five seconds on the shot clock. How about that combo? You had Travis Longboat, Austin Stotts, Dane Smith, Lyle Thompson on the floor. <laughs> Pick your poison on that one, my friends. Quality players. Quality. Out inside. To the near side it is. Marquis. Loose ball. Knocked ahead there by Tyson Bell. Trying to get it ahead. He does so. Scooped ahead. And the horn's going to go. It's going to be Chiefs ball. So of course, the Chiefs didn't actually get possession of it. Cole, down there for Smith. Twisting back around, finding some space was Hill. Smith trying to find his man inside, but it's going to be Lakers ball here. Colsey with a pretty one almost. Cody Jamison playing defense right now. Can do it all, folks. Cody Jamison, that's what you want in a captain, a guy that can do everything. That one stopped by Hill. Up the floor it goes. Jeremy Thompson here for Jackson. Far side here, Lyle Thompson. Cuts through, looking for some space. Can't get to the net, though. Smith for Jackson. Jackson around, seven on the shot clock to his feet, still gets it. Passing it in, and Longboat takes a shot, and another save made by the netminder from the Lakers. Jack. That's a McLaughlin. great play by McLaughlin. McLaughlin gets it loose indeed, and the whistle's going to go. Here we go again as they restart the play. That's a great loose ball. That's just all hustle. That's an 11-6 that's an game, Mark, and he's have Eli McLaughlin just being the liger. Just pouncing on the ball. Well, it's what you said in the second period, Daryl. Doesn't matter what the score is. Don't take your foot off the gas pedal. You do not want to develop those bad habits. Can't take anything for granted, man. You're getting into a very important time of the MSL season. Last thing you need is to get a bad habit that carries on to the playoffs. Well, especially with the, G with the Chiefs. They're going to get this by. So they're going to have some time to, to relax and recover. So you don't want these bad habits. Shot. That, that one is stopped by Hill. Martin on the near side. Holds on to it. Finds Lyle Thompson. And really with the way the standings are working, it could be anybody they face in the second round. Near side, backhand pass. 
Longbow in shot, stopped by the goaltender Kells. He's been rock solid since coming in. So it's Withers. Carter Page. Coming off the bench is Ressa Terrence. Ressa Terrence, five on the shot clock. Passing it over. Hellier with a shot stopped by Hill. And his ability to scramble as well is definitely oh. something that you know should be of note. It doesn't get noted often enough. Well, his ability to scramble, that's just all athleticism. You know, athleticism and awareness, I should say. Sorry. Loose ball scooped up here by Lyle Thompson. In for sundown, shot scores. Sunny, sunny, sunny days. Larson Sundown makes it 12 to 6. Just a goal scorer's goal here. And Sunny showing you what he does and what he did with the New York Riptide and what fans in Ottawa are going to come to expect come the winter time when the Black Bears arrive on the scene in Ottawa. And Larson Sundown with a great goal. 12 to 6 here with 12.58 to go in the third period. For Larson Sundown. Chiefs goal scored by number 16, Larson Sundown. Has another one on the board here this evening. Withers gets pushed to the outside. Sundown with three goals on the campaign. Marquis. Marquis looking for some room. He'll get it back. Fresh off the bench here is Hellier. Hellier gets that ball knocked loose. Here comes Tyson Bell with a bit of speed. Bell has a bit of space. Works. Up top. And getting a hack there was Edwards. That's a Still veteran play. It. That's a veteran play by Bell in the, in the NL. He gets the green light. He's off to the races. This time he pulled off. And then look who he had supporting him. Austin starts with a shot and another save by Landon Kells. Very unselfish play. It's that veteran presence that you need. Well, Tyson's been great all season long. He's really grown as a player. Lakers moving the ball around. It gets loose. Catoni back here for Page. Eight on the shot clock. Trying to lift it over there for Ressa Terrence. And now off to the races. Here comes Nunko Thompson. Thompson shot stopped by Kells. Nunko, one, another one of those very athletic defenders that can just run the floor. He runs like a deer. Hellier. Page gets knocked down right in front of the dotted line. Hellier with a shot stopped by Hill. Stretch pass trying to find Martin. Has the ball here. 11 minutes to go here in the third. Chiefs 12, Lakers 6. Smith into the corner it goes. Back to Smith. Up for McLaughlin. Inside trying to find Jackson. Can't do it. Up the floor comes Withers. Withers will leave it here. He'll go off to the bench. To the far side, Katoni. Katoni muscles his way through, trying to find the five hole, but Hill with another save. Cody Jamison now with it. Jam a working quarterback, holds on to it. Takes it himself, and Kells with the save. Now a lead pass. Jordan Sturros will settle things down here for the Peterborough Lakers. Now my six with 10 minutes to go. Got to start getting some balls in the back of the net. Marquis. Finds his man inside Reza Terrence, and he just missed. And Martin gets hammered there. <laughs> 
Hello. Took a little bit of a hack there from McDonald, just more of a how you doing. Cole. Here's Shane Jackson. Comes across, back for Cole. Couldn't get the shot away. 10 on the shot clock, inside trying to find Hill. Smith, five left on the shot clock. That ball's gonna go into the corner and the Lakers will get the ball back here. For those interested in the Copa America, I can tell you that Canada not doing too hot right now. Ah. Down two nothing to Argentina in the Copa America semifinal. Lionel Messi with the second goal in the second half. And I love watching him play. Two nil, two nothing, two love. Two it all uh oh, two uh oh. It wraps up <laughs> into a neat old ugly goose egg for Team Canada. Have faith. Power play upcoming here for the Lakers. Miracle on lawn. No, I think it's turf. Turf? Pretty sure it's turf. Where are they playing? It was grass. They're playing it. They're at life. Yeah, that's all. They put grass in that. Yeah, they were in Arlington. They threw grass down, I think. I think that's a more than likely a prerequisite for soccer, especially at that level. One thing I do want to point out, our friend Ryan Lever does a bang-up job for the Rogers TV crew. Got honored by the province today, receiving his award and certificate for his work with Rogers TV. So just want to send out a quick congratulations Sweet. to him. Got That's a, awesome. Got a pin, got a certificate. Usually you find him over at uh, games at the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium, but he has done some work with us here in Six Nations this season as well. That's awesome. Hutchison. You guys look like you have a lot of fun in the winter. Oh, we do all right. A little bit of chirping back and forth between different teams, different squads. Of course, Jack does Oshawa, I believe, too. Yes, he does. Well, Jack only does Oshawa now. Yeah, that's awesome. That one's shot. Of course, myself and Ryan Drury take care of the storm with Scotty Frazier. Get on, me in there, man. Get me in there. I'll do some more, Joe. Not my call, my friend. <laughs> I know. Cole with a shot. Stopped there by Kells. Got to watch a bunch of Bulldogs games where my brother's got seasons. Well, with OHL, we're going to have to get you really hammered on on timing. Ah, that's okay. We're good. <laughs> All good, my friend. 12-6 Chiefs. Still plenty of lacrosse to go here. Can I wear my shorts? That's the question. Ah, well, we can shoot up waist level. Oh, sweet. Why not? <laughs> Marquis with a shot stopped by Warren Hill. I do wear shorts 12 months of the year. Lead pass there, trying to find Lyle Thompson, just unable to find him. Well, we wear suits during the winter, partner. Oh, that's all right. Suit jacket? Give me, get me a suit jacket. And What's now some pushing and shoving Biles at here. the bench. Adam Thistleway and Tyler Biles, and I think they're going to be offsetting minors. No, they're just going to give one penalty to Biles. There was some pushing and shoving right at the bench. Thistleway will go on to the bench here. And it looks like a brief two-man advantage here coming for the Peterborough Lakers. Hmm. Sportsmanlike, I think. It's going to be five on three very briefly. 16 seconds to be exact. Enough to set up a play here if you're the Lakers. Let me get a quick one. Backhand pass over trying to find... The bottom corner was Reseteritz. That's back over. Katoni inside. Five on four. Rushing into the play there was Kyle Rubish. Reseteritz. Back for Hellier. Marquis. Backhand pass. Hellier. This is a good combination here for the Lakers, but good defense. Shot stopped by Hill. Such an undisciplined defense. You got the old <laughs> Rubish, Martin, and Bell. Wow. 
Talk about a who's who. Marquis back to Catoni. Shot Hill with a save. Once you get through that defense, you got to get through that brick wall. Oh. King of the Hill has been king of this hill here tonight. Marquis shot. That one goes wide. Rebound and good grab there by Marquis to keep it alive. 13 on the shot clock. Inside, Resateritz shot wow. scores. Joe Resateritz finds the top corner. 12 7. Man, that's, a, that's just a great goal by Resateritz, and he's got a few tonight, that's for sure. He's been leading the charge. We talked about it on, from the onset. He's going to be the guy shouldering the offense here, and that's just a great goal scorer's goal here with the fake. He just goes right over top of the defender and over top of Warren. Goes top cheddar. We've got ourselves a 12 7 lacrosse game with 5.46 to go. Fifth point of the game for Resateritz. He's got the Hattie. He leads the team in points here tonight. Rob Hellier with another four assist outing. Remember, he had four assists the last time these two teams played back on June 27th. Not completely done just yet here at the ILA. Dunko Thompson takes possession. Under six minutes to go here in regulation. Cole. Hot it into the corner here for McLaughlin. Back for Hill. Smith for McLaughlin. McLaughlin trying to find a lane. Passing it back over. Smith back to McLaughlin. Inside, almost getting it there was Lyle Thompson, but he fell to his keister. Lakers looking to set up. Down by just five here with under five to go. They would need a goal a minute on average to get back into this one and keep clean on defense. Some great D there shown by Kyle Rubish. And Martin will move up the floor here for the Chiefs. Just a really nice push by the Peterborough Lakers here. And you know what, though? The Six Nations Chiefs defense up to the task on it. And just a, such a calming uh, force back there. Austin Stotts gets it back over, takes a shot. That one's stopped by the goaltender, Kells. And the Chiefs will get the ball back here. And you talked about it already, Daryl, but the ability to just get these resets, get these yep. shot clock refreshes. It's all about hustle. It's all about aggression. Austin starts with a shot stopped by Kel. I still can't believe this is the last regular season home game of the year. It feels Man. rather early. We're only in early July. I know. I have a mid-season form here. End of season. Holy Dinah. Hellier, good move there, trying to get around Biles, and he was wise to it. I tell you, the Chiefs are in mid-season mid form and playoff form right now. Hellier, shot stopped by the goaltender, Warren Hill. Bouncing back up here for Marquis. To Tony with a shot. Tried the one hopper on Hill, but Hill was fresh to it. 3 and change to go here in the third. This is Lyle Thompson. Holds on to it. Now inside, Sundown looking for some space. Turns back around, finds Jackson. Ball moving around the perimeter. Five on the shot clock. Lyle Thompson with a shot. That one hits the shoulder of Kell, so a fresh shot clock here, but Chiefs got to get the ball. Some pushing and shoving here. The aggression really showing here in the late Ooh. stages. Lyle Thompson going after it. Loose ball goes back into the corner. Hutchison will just knock that one all the way back into Chiefs territory. Rubish, Nunko Thompson, 2.25 remaining, Austin Stotts, the Six Nations Chiefs continue to roll through 2024, inside trying to find Hill, 
A five-goal differential. What a scoop. The intercept from the cornerback, Austin Stotts. Got the one hand up like he was OBJ. <laughs> it's just great athleticism, my friend. Dane Smith with under two to go. Twisting and turning he goes. Has the stick knocked out of his hand. The ball is loose. Still loose. Ross Hill, good job there as he was trying to knock it away. And this is Colton Armstrong. A lot of momentum for Ross Hill as he goes back to the Six Nations Riverman. And they're fighting for top spot. They're in second place, I believe, in RSL. That's a Terrence for Matthews. Matthews escapes one for Page. Five on the shot clock. Not going to get the full shot away, Marquis, and he'll just throw it into the corner. 1.15 to go. The Chiefs, 10-0. Looking like they're on their way to 11-0 in this 12-game season. They'll wrap up the regular season next Tuesday, but they'll do it on the road against the Oakville Rock. That's a makeup game for a game that was canceled earlier on this season. Peterborough, 6-4. They will face Brampton on Thursday at 8 o'clock. The search for perfection continues for the Six Nations Chiefs. Twisting back around. Hillier. Inside, Katoni, under a minute to go. The power play here for the Lakers in the late stages. That one's intercepted, and moving up the floor here is Cole. Chiefs on their way to their 17th straight victory against a major series lacrosse foe. Haven't lost since the regular, since the middle of the first round of the playoffs last year. Coburn Kodiaks. Yes, indeed. Win. I believe that was game three. Yep. And some more pushing and shoving. Cole is just going to move that one back. Just watching that shot clock dwindle down. 15 seconds remaining here. In the third period, the Lakers will move to six and five. Looking for some late surging there. Page will pick it up. Passing it over, and that is going to do it. Horn's going to go. The Chiefs are 11 and 0 to start the major series lacrosse season. They are one win away from a perfect regular season. Man. The Man Cup champions from last year continue to just roll. The stacked lineup. They're staying they hot. Just, they just click. They're clicking together. And right now, they're on the verge of perfection. It's a well-oiled machine, my friend. It really is. The Six Nations Chiefs right now are just on a minute. They, they've been on the mission, like I said. They were on a mission after they hoisted that cup last September in New Westminster. And uh, the mission has been, let's go for two. And boy, oh boy, the Six Nations Chiefs team has shown tons so far this season. Well, that's going to do it here for the regular season at home. Do want to thank you, Daryl, for joining us here in the broadcast booth this oh, season. You, we Mark. have a lot more to go as the Chiefs, again, they have already clinched first place in the major series lacrosse standings. They will get the first round by Peterborough by virtue of this loss. Whatever outside chance they had of catching Brooklyn is gone. Brooklyn will clinch second place. Oakville could catch Peterborough. Coburg could catch Peterborough as well. Still a little bit more to be decided before we get on the full road to the Man Cup. But until we see you next time here at the ILA, of course, check your websites, check social media for any kind of scoring or scoreboards or scheduling that comes out as we'll figure out when the Chiefs will be back at action at home. They'll be on the road again next Tuesday against the Oakville Rock to wrap up the regular season, looking to finish off the season 12-0. For Daryl, I'm Mark. For everybody in the broadcast booth and everybody at the truck putting us on the air here on Rogers TV as well as Cable 14 and wherever you are around the world, we say so long and good night.